Hello, uh, so I'm Andy Hamilton, I'm an author of Forager. I work, I've been working with the wild for the uh, best part of almost two decades now. And by working with the wild, I suppose I mean I've been teaching and studying the wild. So I, the teaching side of it, be that writing, be that making videos, be that making animation, uh, writing books, uh, helps fund my own studies. And one of the things that I've slowly been gearing towards is this idea that perhaps the wild world is a better place than the civilized world that we've created around us and with that in mind that's uh, how the ideas for new world order kind of fermented and what are the ideas behind new world order and what do i mean by saying better well if you think about all the times that you're stressed in life they tend to be, for me, they tend to be down to something digital. They tend to be because I've got too many emails. They tend to be because I've got, had a bad email. They tend to be because I've had to write something and I've been sitting there in front of the computer. Or they can be stuck in traffic or they can be stuck in a supermarket or they can be because you've got a mortgage coming through. So if you think about it, they're all man-made, created things. And so we, we are creating this civilization that we're unhappy in. But if we step backwards and go back to where we used to be as tribal people and go back to something that's a bit more wild, um, then you often have a happier time. So think about those times then you've been happier. It's when you've been on holiday. It's when you've been to the pub with friends. So again, that's a sort of tribal thing. It's maybe when you've had a really nice meal. It's very natural things. Now, if we had a life that was more dedicated to these natural things, then it's my theory that we'd live in a sort of more utopian society. And that with New World Order, my idea is to try and make steps towards that. that. And I don't know whether it can be done in one generation, I don't know uh, whether it could be done in 10 years or 100 years, but I think to make those steps towards a new wild order, towards an order where we take our cues from nature and the natural world, and we don't actually separate ourselves from the natural world, I mean, that's very important too. But if we take our cues from the natural world and cement ourselves as part of it, it's, it's my theory that we'd create ourselves a bit more of a utopian world. And those stresses and strains about broken washing machines or um, walls falling down won't matter so much. And instead our stresses and strains would be about getting food. And we'd be doing that as a tribe. So we're sharing those. And I guess lockdown really pushed these ideas forward. So if we think about uh, some of the strains that we all went through, what I felt great comfort in was that I wasn't going through them alone, that there was a whole world of people that were going through them as well. And I don't mean that in a sort of schadenfreude way or anything like that at all. I don't mean that in a sort of way of, of saying, I wish bad upon my fellow man, quite the opposite. But it was just much, much more comforting to be able to just immediately go right to a very deep conversation with someone about how you're coping. And you could be there for them and they could be there for you. And that for me was a huge shift in, in the way that I thought and the way that I acted about things. So I just think we are now facing so many changes and so many uncertainties. If we carry on the way that we are, then um, this planet will just be a desert. I can't see any other way that that's gonna happen. Um, the fight for resources only seems to happen because of greed. The fight for resources only happens because there's a lot. The haves, the very few at the top, the nine people that own over half of the world's wealth, also use a huge amount of the world's resources and don't really give anything back. The tribal culture is a lot more even. We share resources we don't need as much no we don't need as much if all we're thinking about is shelter and food and enjoyment if those three things the things that we're looking for shelter food enjoyment and love I guess um, for <laughs> then it's a very different outlook to the world we don't you know we won't need cars we won't need roads and therefore those roads can all be planted with forests you know there's quite a few steps I think to get to this point and I realize how wacky some of my ideas are gonna sound um, and I think I've said it, that's the new old order. Excellent Andy. Yeah. Very good.